Welcome to the world of the Nigeria Premier Football League. Today on the show, we speak with Enyimba FC head coach, Finidi George. We visit the happy corner in Lagos. This and more on today's show. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's start the show with some quick stories around the NPFL. Amas gets Super Eagles call-up. Bendo Insurance FC goalkeeper Amas Obasuji gets a call-up to the Super Eagles for the World Cup qualifier against Lesotho and Zimbabwe. Amas, who has been in fine form this season, conceded just one goal in seven NPFL games and also conceded just 24 goals in his last 45 games, keeping 25 clean sheets. He made the team after Maduka Okoye pulled out of the squad, giving the opportunity to Amaz to fight for his sporting goal for the Super Eagles. NPFL set to organize Youth League for 2023-2024 season. The Nigeria Premier Football League Board has set up a seven-member Youth League Committee to organize the 2023-2024 Youth League. The committee will be headed by the former chairman and one-time member of the Nigeria Football Federation, Pastor Emeka Inyama. Other members of the committee include the chairman of Benway State Football Association, Paris de Paul Edi, ex-international Pascal Pascal, Sao Abdullahi Ira, Nicholas Morris, and the Lagos State FA Vice Chairman, Gafar Lemid, who is also the proprietor of NNL side 36 Lions. NPFL Head of Competition Dr. Sonde Obaseki will serve as secretary. The NPFL Youth League will hold during the one-week mid-season break to determine the qualifiers for a national championship playoff. Katsina United asked Tony Bullus to step aside as technical director. The management of NPFL club Katsina United have asked the technical director of the side, Tony Bullus, to step aside. This comes as the management complains about his technical ineptitude since the beginning of the season, which they say is seriously affecting the performance of the team. The 2022-2023 Nigeria Professional Football League season that changed to Nigeria Premier Football uh, League. It has been an interesting one this time around. And, um, we have gotten a couple of things right that previously uh, we didn't get right in previous season. One of the things that uh, impressed me the most about the IMC is that they've actually given us something to cheer. Like we have the Super 6 on TV, which is the first time in a long while we are having the league back on TV. We, we are able to achieve what we've been looking for for so many years. Um, it's been very interesting, um, giving me a little bit of um, maybe blood rush in some of the games I've seen. Oxygen has been really impressive this season. We've had a couple of away wins, more than we've had in the pre uh, previous season. The referees have been doing a wonderful job. 2022-2023 season has been... Uh, without any doubt, one of the best. That is what we want. That is what we are clamoring for. You are listening to a Leg Better TV. Time to have a sit down with former Calabar Rovers, Wyoming National, Sharks FC and Super Eagles player, Finidi George. He talks to us about the league. Yeah, I'm uh, Coach Finidi George, uh, head coach of Aimba Football Club. After spending two seasons in the league, he talks to us about the quality of the league and also the quality of players and coaches in the league. The quality of the league is, is we must, I must say it's, it's, it's good enough. And there are a lot of good players, a lot of players that understand the game, they understand tactics, they are willing to learn. Um, I was shocked, you know, the, the way players compete. I was shocked to see how teams are, are shaped up, how they prepare for games, even the coaches. 
So the way they prepare for these games, the way they, they, they do their tactics, you see there's an improvement. You know, the, I know there are other other issues that can be made, or that can be can be can be done better. But um, I think with time we're going to get there. But I think generally, I think I was surprised that um, we have that kind of quality of players in the league. So I must commend the clubs, the coaches that have been around, you know, working with these players. So um, it's a good thing that I, I came back. Having played under great managers like Monde Sinclair, Gus Hindik, Luis Van Gaal and Luis Aragones, he tells us what influenced his philosophy and the style of play his team displays. Um, I think having played um, under these coaches, Luis Van Gaal, Sinclair, like you rightly said, Luis Aragones in Betis, um, Gus Hiddink. You know, I've played under so many coaches. And um, yeah, while I was thinking about going for my coaching career, I went to, to, to Holland to do that. And um, the methodology there is how you can get players to play the, this game on the floor. Or, you know, not, not the kick and rush, you know. So um, I've been known for that. Uh, when I started this game, I was also a midfielder. So, um, it's also nice, you know, to pass the ball on the floor. And um, I haven't learned from all these coaches, and now I'm a coach. Uh, definitely, I want my team to play that way. And um, yeah, you have to be aggressive, but uh, I know you must always respect your, your opponent. So that is the philosophy um, I try to get into the, the heads of my players. Aimba FC boosts a list of great players who's put on the blue shirt. Finidi tells us how he motivates his players to maintain the high standard that the club has been used to. Yeah, I'll just motivate them by telling them since that, that provision is not there at the moment for them to see. Um, just let them know that the um, sky is the limit. You know, there, there were people here before you. You can see the East Stars and let, let me say 10, you know, when you talk about the, the CAF Championship. Uh, they should look at that and try to have a star on their name, which will, will let the club know and others know that uh, someday these players were part of um, the ninth star or the eleventh star of of Aimba. So um, I think uh, that is a motivation for the players to move on with. He tells us what Finidi is like in the dressing room. I know nowadays these players, yeah, you have to communicate with them. At time you have to use the iron hand and uh, try to instill what you want. You know? But yeah, today you can't do that. You know, you have to have better relationship with the players, better conversation better explanation so that uh, we all understand what we're going in for you know so uh, sometimes i get angry but i don't do that all the time i think uh, once you can communicate better there's no need for that uh, to be angry time to take a break we will be back to find out the meaning of the tattoos on finity's body Welcome back. Time for Finiti to tell us what the tattoos on his body mean. All right. Um, this one, I will start with this one. This one is a cross because I'm a Christian. I believe in God. And this one is my um, star sign. I am Aris. You know, so you see the ram. That's why I have this one here. This one 
is the uh, name of my son. This is Kevin. This is Indira. I have another, this is my daughter, Indira. I have another daughter that I have not, I am yet to go and have another one to, to, really, to really seal it up. But um, that's, the, that's the story behind um, the tattoos, you know. So it's nothing crazy. It's just something for me that anytime I look at this, I know. This name of my son, the name of my daughter. I still have to write the name of my other daughter on this. Finally, he told us what are his hobbies and what he is really scared of. I don't, I don't really, I don't read a lot. I don't read a lot. Um, definitely what comes up um, on the social media, um, some write-ups, but I use my phone, you know. I like to read, but reading books, I think um, is not, is not, is not part of me at this point in time, you know. Um, Music-wise, I think I like reggae music and um, Afrobeat. I'm, I'm, I'm scared, you know, sometimes. I'm scared of flying. <laughs> but when you, when you talk about soccer itself, uh, I'm scared of losing. I don't want to lose. You know, sometimes um, before getting to the game, I'm always scared. You know, but once the game starts, uh, I'll try to get myself in order and, uh, you know, pick up from where, um, from where I know uh, I can play well in a, in a game. You know, but before every game, I'm I'm always nervous, and I'm and I'm afraid of losing. You know, so. That's, um, that's, that's me. Enough about Finidi. Time to go to our trivia of the week. Today's play of the week, we take a look at the beautiful team goal scored by Sikiru Alimi of Remo Stars FC in match day 8 against Gombe United. United uh, with the tourists, 6 goals in 20 games last season as Remo Stars come forward beautifully on that far right inside. Sadiq Ismail looking for the options, cut back into Sikiru on the edge of the 18 yard box, can it get the finish? Yes it does! Everything he touches turns to goals. And that goal takes him up to six goals in the top flight. Welcome to the Happy Corner. Alright, Happy Corner is 
it's a name that's as literal as it comes. It's a color that makes you happy, basically. It's um, probably the vibrant fan base of the Sporting Lagos um, Football Club. Uh, so I saw um, a tweet from Shola about Sporting Lagos and immediately it resonated with me. I felt that this was someone who was ready to capture the minds of people around my demography uh, in terms of age and interest. And you know Nigerians love football, it's right in the English Premier League. And I'm like, I'm going to, I want to tap into this. And what was the best way of tapping into it? I knew I had a community of people who love football and the idea was okay first of all find go check out these guys are they real are they what they are proposing is it true so i went for the first game and immediately at the first game i saw the opportunity to bring these people that love football so much to come watch it live and transfer that love not necessarily transfer but bring that love they have for the league like the english premier league to the mpfl and just like that i saw that people love the idea and every week people will come in in their numbers and Voila, the happy one. Look at me. If you see someone like me blowing for Vuzela, wouldn't you wonder that what's happening in this place? So that's the idea. I want people to see that. Okay, so working class people, people that probably have their own nine to five. They can be passionate about something. Passion is everything, actually. So the, the fact that you can see a section of the crowd churning out chants yeah, you hear in Europe, churning out um, support for the full 90 minutes, whether you win or you lose. I think that's the different thing that separate us from the others and I think that's the unique um, selling point of the Africana. You basically get to connect with people of like mind. Um, also we have a lot of fan mixers, we have events where we continue to bolster this love that we have for the sports and basically you meet, you meet people of like mind. I think that's the, that's the most important thing. To join Apicona, you need to subscribe. To um, you need to get get just want to come to the Sporting Lagos game. Basically, find the ticket link, you get the ticket link, and you use the discount code Apicona for premium tickets. And immediately, that's it. Once you come, I promise you, just one experience you need. Let's go, Sporting! Let's go! Let's go, Sporting! Let's go! Let's go! Adele, why don't you score with your head? God cannot bless you with everything. You have to share it. I'm not selfish, so God gives some people <laughs> the talent to score with head. Wow. Give me the one to score with leg, so I'm contented and I'm happy with the one he gave me on my leg. You are listening to a Leg Better TV radio. Time to have some fun. We put former Rangers FC goalkeeper Nana Bonsu on the hot seat as he answers some rapid fire questions. As a goalkeeper, so me, I go choose Ronaldo. The first thing is, I never used the tools before, so Bugatti. Between Nigeria Jorof and Ghana Jorof, I will choose Ghana Jorof. Between 
black gay and fair gay. Me, I like black. I can see two of them. Everybody getting away now. So. It's time to go on the show, but not without leaving you with a stunning fact. Did you know that since their return to the NPFL, Bendel Insurance has had 16 draws in the 30 games they have played in that period. Six of those have been goalless draws, three of which came after the departure of former striker Imade Osarenko. Now you know.